Thanks for stopping by my channel. If you would like to see what are some of the colors I wore for the month of October and what are my monthly um, colors that I like, please stay tuned. So first of all, I'll go over what I wore. This one I recently just got and it's OPI Comet in the Sky. It's just this polish with black glitters, iridescent glitters that reflect different colors. And it looks like there's a few bar glitters too. So here's a close up of it. Comet in the Sky, OPI from the new Gwen Stefani collection. And then another OPI that I really enjoy this past this month in October is this um nude color by OPI and it is called Man My Vampire's Buff. I got this in a set from TDJ Max. I will be hauling it, so this is a preview. And then of course China Glaze Glitter Goblin. I love this color so much. I wore it so much this month. This one is my favorite color for this month and it's called Glitter Goblin as you can see it's this copy or coppery orange with holographic um, glitters and this one is also by China Glaze and it has this sheen running right through it you can see this gold one it's a dark color and it's called Midtown Magic next I have this in a mani and it's this kind of off muted yellowy, um, yellowy orange, I mean not orange, green color with this gold flakes running through it and it's called Trendsetter. And of course this one I love for Halloween, I all got it from a friend, we, we went to Cos um, Cosmoprof. And it was, but of course, I wanted to try the other ones. The one that kind of looks like blood, but I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, this one I love a lot. It's this green color with this black running through it. It is texture. And then another dark color. This one's really close to China Glaze. This one's by Salon Perfect. As you can see, they both look really close in the bottle. But this one has a gold sheen to it on a black dark base and this one has a gold sheen on a dark purple base. And I got it on sale at Walmart for $1 and this is called Raisin the Roof. The next set is for these two I got at um, Big Lots for $1. It's Sephora X. This one is just a gold glitter. It shimmers and it has gold glitters running through it. And then this one is just a nude color with silver, I mean silver and gold shimmers. And then of course this one's what I wore during Halloween. It's just a black base with orange glitters running through it. And it's Sally Hansen. And it is called Pumpkin Spice. And then I had this one I got a few months, a while back at Dollar Tree. It's part of the Milani 3D Holographic and it's called 3D. See if it'll focus, I'll probably zoom in a little. There you go. And last but not least is this LA Color Color Craze in this dark base with olive shimmer running through it with gold shimmer as well. I think it's a really good dupe to Wallace, so look out for a video for that. I'll probably do a comparison. And it is called Cactus. So I'll go ahead and swatch these for you if you would like to see how they look like um, swatch on my nails, please stay tuned. The first two that I will be swatching is China Glaze Trendsetter and Milani 3D. So on my ring finger I have one coat of Mil Milani 3D and on my pointer finger I have one coat of China Glaze um, Trendsetter. As you can see Trendsetter is really opaque with one coat, you can get away with that. And the formula is really nice to work with. There it is, a live swatch of it. This is this olive, olive color, muted. And then here is the Milani 3D, a gold holographic. 
So here's one coat each. I'll go ahead and paint the second coat and I'll get back. Here is two coat each of China Glaze um, Trendsetter. It is this muted olive color with gold shimmer running through it. Um, these two finger right here, my pointer and my pinky, my middle. And here's two coat each of Milani's 3D. And they are on my ring finger and my pointer finger. So that's two coat each. The next set of polish is China Glaze Glitter Goblin on my pointer finger right here. As you can see, it's just this coppery silver, copper glitter with holographic silver. The first one was one coat, and now I'm putting a two on my second coat on. And then the next one is China Glaze on my ring, my pointer finger. Sorry, my ring finger called Midtown Magic. That's one coat, so I'll be doing one coat here. My ring finger, as you can see, is really dark, opaque, and really easy to work with. And on my ring, my middle finger, I wanted to do Salon Perfect and Raising the Roof as a comparison. You can see that they look really similar far away because they're both really dark colors, but as I zoom in, see if it'll focus. Um, China Glaze has that silver, I mean that gold shimmer running through it, and then um, Salon Perfect is this dark purple with that kind of gold shimmer running through it. That's why it looks a little more purple. So I'll go ahead and paint two coats each and I'll get back. So here is two coat of Glitter Goblin on the pointer finger. And then China Glaze Midtown Magic on my, um, my middle finger and my ring finger. It's this dark base with um, gold copper shimmers running through it that reflects green and yellow in the bottle. And on the nails is these two right here. And for comparison, I painted my pinky this Salon Perfect. It's a purple base, as you can the camera, they look pretty similar, but um, in person, you can see that Salon Perfect is more of a purple base, and China Glaze is a black base with those shimmers running through. Here you go, you can see it pop up more on my, my middle finger, my middle finger, my ring finger, and my pinky finger. So now I'll be swatching Raising the Roof. Like I said, it's really close to China Glaze Midnight Midtown Magic, but it has a dark purple base to it, as you can see in the brush. Let's see if it'll focus. Nope, okay. Um, oh, sorry, it's on a thing. As you can see, it's really purple with gold, gold shimmers running through it. You can get away with one coat. These two polishes have one coat. And then my pointer finger is just black. I'm going to paint um, Sally Hansen's pumpkin spice over it so you can see it tensified. See for focus. Um, it's a light black base with um, orange running through it. As you can see now that I'm painting it on my middle finger it is really sheer black so that's why i painted it over a black base so that you can see the color pop up more so i'll go ahead and paint two coats and i'll get back
So here's one coat of um, China Glaze Mint Bud of course and one coat of um, OPI's Comet in the Sky. So I'll go ahead and paint two coats, the second coat of Comet in the Sky. I'm trying to see if I can get some big glitters but it's not going to pop up so sorry about that but you get the idea. And then I'll be painting it over a black cream. So you can see that the color of the glitter that are sheer, they pop up more but you lose the black glitters. And then I'll be painting it over Midtown Magic by China Glaze. You can see that the black are popping up a little more here, but then you don't get that much of the oh, Sorry, autofocus. You can see the iridescent flakes. And then on my pointer finger, I will be painting China Glaze, but of course. This one does dry matte. As you can see. So China Glaze, but of course. It's a texture um, matte polish. Green base with black glitter and OPI's Comet in the Sky over a cream black China Glaze Metal Magic which is a shimmer and then by itself. The next two polish that I'll be swatching is Sephora X in Light which is a nude um, silver nude color with gold shimmers running through it and here's one swatch on my pinky and I will swatch it on my ring finger. The formula is really nice. It's really easy to work with. So that's one coat. And on my pointer finger and my ring finger, no, middle finger is OPI My Vampire's Buff, which is this nude cream color. So I'll go ahead and paint two coats and I'll get back. So here is two coat each of va my vampire is buff with just this cream nude color and in the middle I put Sephora X um, in like over it. You can see the silver shimmer popping up over OPI my vampire is buff but by itself it's pretty per it's a pretty color too. The next two that I'll be swatching is LA Colors LA Craze in Cactus and Sephora X Unbearable. So these two finger has one coat each already. So this is LA Color Cactus. It's this dark base with all yellow copper, yellow shimmers running through it. And then um, Unbearable by Sephora X is this gold shimmer that has big glitters as well too. So that is one coat. I'll go ahead and swatch the second coat and I'll get back. So here's two coat each of LA Color Color Craze Cactus on my pointer and my middle finger. And then Sephora X Unbearable a gold shimmer and gold gl um, glitter in my ring finger and my pinky finger. So thank you for stopping by. So for my monthly manis and nail polish that I wore, I think I would have to say out of all of these, my favorite would have to be China Glaze Midtown Magic. China Glaze Butt of Corpse. And China Glaze Glitter Goblin. And last but not least, it would have to be this color OPI, Comet in the Sky. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I would like to leave today with a quote. So the quote that I would like to leave this video by is, Kind words are like honey, sweet to the soul and healthy for the body. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please um, comment below what your favorite from these are. 
and thank you and see you next time take care